Hey everybody, people been asking what's the next project, what's the next restoration. It's going to be that 1855 and I think it's time to get started on it. And this is my big electrolysis tank, you'll probably recognize it as one of those tote things. So the first thing I need to do is get some water in it, but before I did I thought I'd show you. I got these pieces of scrap metal. My brother uh, kindly donated from a project he, uh, he's a welding engineer and uh, he made some robot that makes cabinets of some kind. But let's get her filling up. It takes a little while. Now these are the original side panels for the 1855. The uh, white flare piece is missing. Someone is reproducing those, so that's not a big deal. So we're gonna take them off. So we can get everything good and clean. without snapping anything. Then this winter I can paint this table green instead of purple. All right, ready to put them in a tank. Uh, I've turned the juice on, but uh, there's no electrolyte in there, so I'm not going to get much action. Got my negative here. I'm hoping this uh, is a broken gang bolt, but that'll connect to this. I got jumper cables if it doesn't, but uh, get both of those. First, I got to add electrolyte. The bubbles are starting to come now. Now finish adding water that'll help stir the electrolyte up and uh, get the water level up bubbles are starting to come up are they coming off from both of them though I think so I might have to put the jumper cables on let's see if uh... yeah sparks there so that one's uh, making connection now this first plate is that second one might not be picking it up off the rod well I added a uh, lye sodium hydroxide I'm on the 15 amp setting. I'm charging just under 20 amps. If I bump it up to 50 amp, it gets a little over 20. That's probably plenty. Don't need to overwork my charger. Cables warm up just slightly. We're gonna leave her at that. I think I have an electrical connection on everything now. See if I can find something to scrape the scum off the top so we can see if the bubbles are coming up. But it is Tuesday. Let's see, Tuesday. 4.30. We'll come back and visit it tomorrow and see how it looks. 
Obviously my tank ain't deep enough to get them all in one uh, hit. So, oh well. Maybe if I put them in there at an angle. Eh, we'll just flip them. Let's see if I can move some of this foam off the top. Well, if it's not connected, we'll know tomorrow. Because those won't change. Well, here it is. Roughly 24 hours later. Actually drawing more amperage. Probably uh, stuff's got stirred up better. Uh, and of course the rust has gone away. Everything seems to be bubbling. Let's pull one out and see how it's doing. How about this one? Take her out here in the sunlight. Guess I need to bring the power washer out. So you're probably seeing yourself. Gee, Chris, that doesn't look any different. Yeah, I need to go get the power washer. Look at that. Okay, I'll go get the power washer. Well, in the time it took me to get the pressure washer this old one hooked up and primed things dried off and it's falling off on its own we'll set her on the rocks here and give her a good wash and I think I can get a good angle here Just a little bit of decal. Of course, you can see where it was uh, submerged and where it wasn't. And then the back side, where the paint is in much better shape. Ooh, I didn't get down in there good enough, but if it gets rusty or weathered, the paint comes off pretty easy. If the white paint's in good shape, it takes a lot more to get it off from there. And it will come off, but that usually takes a couple days. So maybe what I'll do is do one side panel and this, flip them over, leave the other two as they are, and go another day and see how things look. Now, once again, you know, the name spear is protecting that. This is before I've washed it. Just pull it out of the water. Now you can see, I power washed this rusty spot, but it wouldn't come off. And the uh, thumb screw must not have had an electrical connection because it stayed rusty. Oh, and then I get, get under that edge. Up in here. 
Didn't hit that with a power washer. Didn't come from this angle. But that's alright, it's going back in. And you can see it just rubs off. Just a matter of I missed it. But paint wasn't on very good on the back side. Some stayed on. So I will flip this one like that side spear. Leave the other one alone. And run it for another day and we'll see the difference. A lot of the water, or the, a lot of the crud has settled out of the water. So it's a lot clearer now. And you can see stuff starting to fizz. I'm not sure if this one is. That one is, that one is. That one on the end definitely is. Oh yeah, I'm connected to the other uh, sheet. Yep, yeah, I saw sparks there. That one should be connected. Oh yeah, I can see bubbles coming off now. I will leave those first two as they were, just as an experiment. And these other two flipped over. See how well the paint removal part of it goes. That's a great thing about this. I can go do something else and just let this cook, fizzle, sizzle, and do its thing. Might have a little paint to flex like that there. And as you can see, uh, oh, the, uh, the lye is dilute enough that I was not getting stung or burn every off from the water but you get that stuff on you directly it's you still need to be careful with it but it doesn't have to be so strong that it's gonna burn your skin or anything once you got the right solution it is strong enough mosquitoes they can try laying eggs in here but i never get mosquitoes in the tank water's just too alkaline with that lie in there yeah it's bubbling good So, well, I'm gonna go find something else to do. Yeah, well, here it is, another 24 hours later. Let's pull some stuff out and wash it off. We'll be able to compare some of the stuff that's been in for 48 hours versus stuff that's only been in for 24 hours, so on and so forth. And uh, these have got the equivalent of about 48 hours on them. Uh, they did, uh, I shut it off over the weekend. I went to Rantoul for the half century of progress. And so uh, they were soaking in this stuff, but the uh, juice wasn't on. So really shouldn't have been too much going on. Although it may be re-rusting. So I plugged it in and so I turned it on for just a, oh, it's been on for a couple hours now just to kind of remove the surface rust that might have formed from sitting in there with nothing going on. So now I'm going to turn off the juice and pull them out and power wash them, see what they look like. Paint starting to bubble off. A little bit on there. Helps loosen it up. Set this in the sun. I guess I'm gonna put it back in anyways because uh, the bottom half has to dry off, or not dry off, has to uh, get its thing done because my tank ain't deep enough to get the whole thing in one shot. So the majority of this is gonna be under again. I'll help get more of that paint off from there. Well, let's pull out Let's pull out the piece that was flipped over. I got some flash rust on this end from it sitting there over the weekend. 
a little bit on this side. Best thing you can do is get them dried off as fast as possible so they don't start re-rusting. But the easiest thing is just to pop it back in. A little rust like that only probably even half hour or something will get rid of that. So that's what I'm going to do. Oops. Okay, another experiment. A friend uh, has done this and he accidentally, uh, or he got a phone call and the piece dried before he could uh, power wash it off and he actually felt like more stuff come off after it was dry. So I've let this one dry and now I'm gonna hit it. Well, this is noteworthy. This one was sitting in the sun. This is the one that sat out or got some flash rust. And now that it's dried off good, get right in there and can blast that flash rust off. Let's see how this one does. Yeah, look at that. So probably be even better with my good power washer. This is my older than the hills. One powered by 110 volts uh, power washer. And no heat. Yeah, that really uh, got a lot of bother off in there. Turn it around. Okay, got some flash rust here. I think what, well, what happens when it uh, does this is uh, it converts the rust to a, uh, I guess I don't know exactly, some kind of black stuff. And that's kind of what kind of tries to re-rust or flash rust when you, uh, I should hit this side over here. That's what tries to flash rust when you bring it out. If it's uh, good metal that hasn't rusted before, like where this paint was, it'll stay pretty, uh, pretty clean and not re-rust on you if it dries off fairly quick. Oh, next up we got the ouch side panels and they should be small enough to be totally submerged both panels are in they're not touching the side plates so I'll just hook the juice back up and uh, let her rip Something's connect conducting. The old meter went up. Let's see what's fizzling. This closest piece is already starting to bubble. That. I'm getting bubbles off the rod, but not the sheet metal. So I'm thinking I do not have a electrical connection. Let's wiggle that a little. See if uh, it starts doing something. Bubbles 
Oh, I think we got connection now. Yep, it's coming off over there. Over there. It's working. Now we wait. Well, here it is, better part of two days later. I was gonna do them at one day and kind of forgot last night. So they should be uh, good and clean, they're bubbling good. Let's pull them out of there and see how things look. Oh yeah, all sorts of bubbly and paint falling off. I'm gonna say that one's done. It did pretty good too. Stripping more uh, metal off from the 1855 to put in the electrolysis tank. Amazingly enough, still has the original battery cover in good shape. Not so for the not so for the battery tray. That thing's pretty crusty. There ain't a lot of metal left in the bottom of that. Battery hold down frame ain't too bad, but I've got a couple other ones that are probably better. And the battery tray, hmm. I'll have to dig through my stash and see what I've got. Oh, the choices. Clean up this uh, rusty original. I've got another green one here. It doesn't have the uh, supports on one side there. Then I got this black new old stock one. Well, after seeing that the supports are missing off this one and just pretty much gone off the other one, I think we'll go with the new old stock one. Keep the others, they're still uh, rescuable. Guess who had a new battery tray down in his stash? Sweet, looks like the same thing. Other than it's painted black. Much better than that one. Whew. She rough. I'm wondering what the heck that goes to. That's just a support. 
goes against the casting of the rear end run it out to uh, cut down on vibration would be my guess it's, it's got a jammed nut it doesn't seem to do anything else cool beans well it's been a couple months since i started doing this harvest has been going on fall work just throw something in here and there there's that new old stock battery tray the paint just uh came right off from that without any problem i should have recorded uh cleaning this up i got it out of the tank and it sat for i don't know weeks and just looked as nasty as when it came off the tractor and a quick shot with a power washer and cleaned right up so won't take much but if i do a run a little wire wheeling over them just to kind of get that little bit of surface rust to uh, flash rust off from them before i paint but come along pretty good some of them have sat in there for a while that definitely helps the paint come off just want to let everybody know also uh I've got the merchandise updated in the uh, store. I'll put a link down below. Actually, there always is a link in the description. Uh, Teespring discontinued some items and changed prices on others, and that messed my store up. So the other night I was up late and I got things fixed to the best of my knowledge. So if you're interested in getting yourself a t-shirt, sweater, hoodie, something like that, you can uh, click on the link in the description. And I appreciate everybody watching as always, so we'll see you in the next one.